Coming up in the news, cab drivers looking forward to a fare increase. The Christian community to meet this week with the Marijuana Commission and a benefit concert planned to help one of our very own. The Bahamas Tonight Northern Edition starts now. This is the Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Good evening all, I'm Shishina wolf and as always, it is so great to have you with us. Topping news tonight, they have lobbied for many years for an increase and for this group of ground transportation professionals, the cost of living was climbing while their income was stagnant. But after repeated calls for a change, their concerns have finally been answered. Italia Hall has our top story. President of the Grand Bahama Taxi Union, Harold Curry, says the union applied for a rate increase in 2016, and while it was approved for New Providence, it was not approved for Grand Bahama. He says since coming to office, he has made a fair increase a priority and met with the minister responsible for transport, who promised that the changes would be made by July of this year. Now, the old island is zoned out, zoned out in different areas, but you have an increase of three bucks on all those areas. And also uh, the extras, because the meter no normally gives you from one to two persons. And the extras used to be uh, $3 for every additional person over two. That went to four. In the past, children ages one through five were able to ride free of charge, but now only children under three will ride free. Vice Chairman of the Union Rodney Forbes says he believes the change was badly needed because taxi drivers are hurting on Grand Bahama. Considering the economic situation in Grand Bahama and everything else is going up and we have been bargaining for this, begging for this, crying out for it from 2016 when Nassau got their raise and now here again in 2018 we will promise our raise. And so we're just ready now to begin to reap the benefits of the promises that was made to us. Now our ZNS News team visited the Grand Bahama International Airport and spoke with some taxi drivers who have been in the industry for over 20 years. I am happy. Um, like what everyone said, I hope it doesn't um, cause any conflict. Uh, you know, because sometimes people crumble, but fears. But... Uh, this last increase, the first increase was the one before we were changing, being around from 1978, so that's a long time. The cost of living had been up tremendous. I welcome the, the increase because, like, better knows that everything has went sky high. Now, overall, taxi drivers say this is something that they are looking forward to. Now, the rate change is expected to be put in effect officially on Monday, July 29th. It's Halia Hall. ZNS Network News. Thank you, Tally. Well, the Broadcasting Corporation of the Bahamas is getting set to launch the second phase of its high-definition platform, this time from our Northern Service Bureau. This upgrade is expected to put the Northern Service on the cutting edge of technology. According to engineering manager at ZNS North, Coyle Wilkinson, ZNS Freeport has entered a new era as the television station moves from analog to digital. He says with this new technological advancement for the only TV station on Grand Bahama, more can be done to produce a quality newscast. It's now important we take it. Uh, we, we, are, we almost have a clean slate. All right? we, we could start to be more creative. Um, persons who are um, interested in, in refining their craft or, or going deeper into, into whatever it is that they want to do um, production-wise, they, they should be able to here at the corporation. A contract was signed back in December to upgrade ZNS Freeport, and he says much work took place behind the scenes, including shift adjustments for employees, a makeshift set to accommodate the facelift of the TV studio, and training. Uh, to be exact, they started to take down the old analog equipment, and... A month after that in March, um, some guys came in, the installers from Argentina. Um, they came in and they took about about a month, basically. They were done um, by April 10th. And everything else has just been on us up to this point um, to get adjusted to, to the new setup. Wilkinson has been a part of the BCB for some 20 years now, and the young professional says this has been years in the making. But he notes that ZNS is just catching up with the rest of the world. This, this whole initiative um, isn't just a ZNS thing, all right? It's, it's, it's a government thing worldwide. Right? They would have started somewhere in Europe, 
and it just trickled throughout the, the, the world globally. And so now ZNS um, could say that we in this region that we're in, um, we, we are fully um, um, HD. Um, when we wanted to, to start, we, we had done it um, back in 06 or 07, I think it was 09 when, when um, I think the first country went, went digital, I think that was Europe. But um, we, we were thinking about it back in 06, but at the time it, it was, it was, it was an exorbitant amount of funds. <laughs> I think some $16 million or something like that was involved in, in doing boat stations, Nassau and, and Freeport. And so it just was costly. But that cost has dwindled significantly as the cost to upgrade ZNS Freeport was pegged at some $500,000. Wilkinson believes that with these new tools, there is no limit for ZNS Freeport. If it's, it's just up to us. It's just up to us to, to, to not limit ourselves. All right, just understand what is here now and just go from there. You know, just take it in, in, in baby stages. In other news, the Bahamas National Count Commission rather on marijuana has been given a mandate to the issue of marijuana in the Bahamas and make recommendations to the government. With that in mind, members of the commission are expected to travel to Grand Bahama later this week to get the views of the church on the issue. Megan Shepard explains. President of the Grand Bahama Christian Council, Reverend Dr. Robert Lockhart, says that the special meeting with the National Marijuana Commission is necessary to allow pastors and religious leaders to be properly informed while giving them the opportunity to present their concerns. The meeting will be headed by Chairman of the Commission, Bishop Simeon Hall, and will also include other members of the Commission. As to the general consensus of the GB Christian Council, Reverend Lockhart says they do believe that marijuana marijuana should be used for medicinal purposes. When it comes to the marijuana being used for the purpose of, for medical purposes, that is not a problem that we, we do not have a problem with that aspect of it. We do believe that when God created um, plants, he said that the, the plants were created for the healing of the nation. So we do believe that in most plants there are healing properties or medical properties that can be used for the purpose of better health. And I believe that those properties also exist in the marijuana plant. Another concern of the council is how possession of the illegal substance has affected young people's criminal records. Treasurer Pastor Cedric Beckel says that there must be a better plan of action when it comes to consequences and rehabilitation. We are also in favor of as the president said, finding another way to deal with our young men with these extended records for such small quantities of marijuana. But we're not endorsing the illegal use of marijuana, obviously, but we're simply saying there are other ways that we can address the violations that currently exist with our young men whose records seem to stay with them for a long period of time. So although the meeting may be specifically for the legalization of the use of marijuana, we are also concerned about that aspect of it as well. The Christian Council is inviting the religious leaders to the meeting at the Foster B. Pestina Center. We want to understand, if the commission can help us to understand, that if the government does consider in some way of consider legalizing marijuana, what would that look like? What, is, what are they considering? So. We want to make sure that everything that's done is always done for the well-being of the community, of our young people, and that is going to protect and contribute to the well-being and not do harm. We don't think that um, making marijuana, the widespread use of marijuana in the Bahamas would be advantageous or helpful for us socially and, um, and, and spiritually for the well-being. Um, being of our people. The meeting will begin at 10 a.m. on Thursday, July 25th. Megan Shepard, CNS Network News. In news from the court now, a man charged before the court in Abaco today with the island's recent murder. 31-year-old Kevin Gabriel of Marsh Harbor was arraigned before Magistrate Ansela Evans on the charge of murder. He was not required to enter a plea. Bail was denied and he was remanded to the Bahamas Department of Correctional Services until September 12th for trial. Gabriel is accused of the fatal shooting of 25-year-old Regime Baffle, a father of two in the mud in Abaco on Friday. Police were alerted of gunshots fired in the area of the mud and when officers arrived in the area they met the victim lying on the ground with multiple gunshot wounds to the body. He was taken to the clinic in Marsh Harbor but he succumbed to his injuries. The suspect was arrested shortly before 10 a.m. on Saturday. 
Meanwhile, Doyle Amaro Mackey will have to wait a bit longer to learn his fate. Mackey reappeared in court last week for sentencing, but it was adjourned to later this year. Mackey was charged with the double murders of brothers Carlos and Carlton Hamilton and the attempted murder of three other men. In May of this year, he was found guilty on the three counts of the attempted murders, but a hung jury was reached for the double homicide of the Hamilton brothers. The brothers were gunned down on November 3rd, 2016 and their bodies discovered near the graveyard in McLeanstown East End. Sentencing will now take place on October 22nd. You're watching The Bahamas Tonight, the Northern Edition. Stay with us. There's more news on the other side of the break.